Welcome back. I got a request to do running in GB Studio. Let's get right into it. I'm one of the developers that working on Dwarf. It's a tower defense dungeon crawler RPG. You can wish this did on Steam now. Okay, so we're gonna do running and you can start a new project. I'm gonna do a sample project here. Let's just name this, uh, let's run and create. So when you do a sample project, it has a lot of stuff already set up for you. Um, basically, <laughs> you already have a little game. So in the sample project, and probably in your game, you have a character that can walk around, and if you press enter, it pops up uh, a menu, and I have a tutorial for creating your own menu. You should check that out. But, let's make the character run when we press um, X, and X represents B. So it's kind of hard to tell where the code is for making that menu pop up, or where we should put the code for running. If you put it in your scene, the problem is that your character will only be able to run in that scene, but we want the character to be able to run anywhere in the game. So where you actually need to put it is put it on your title screen. Here in the title screen, you can already see some pre-made code. Um, don't really worry about this too much. The thing that we're, um, what we're looking for is um, joypad input attach script to button. So here you can see that the start, which is the return key, it pulls up a menu. So in here, all that we need to do is add another joypad input. I'm going to click add, and if you search uh, joypad, um, attach script to button. So we're gonna do B, and I believe B is X on the keyboard. And here we're gonna make the character run. But just to make sure that it's working, just for fun, let's set the player to shock. So here we are. And when I press B, the player gets shocked. So you can see you can do all sorts of stuff, not just running. You can um, you can have the character do other things like maybe in the future, I'll show you how to make the character do a sword attack when you press this button. Okay, so in here, of course, instead of having the player do an emote, what we want, I'm gonna just delete that, add event, what we want is if you search for move, actor set move speed and in here you can pick what speed you want the character to move at i believe by default the character is moving at a speed of one but just for fun i'm going to make it the fastest one i'm going to set it to four let's see how fast this is so here we are moving at a normal speed and now when i press x <laughs> b i'm moving super fast it kind of reminds me of the bicycle in pokemon games but there's no way for me to go back to the normal speed so let's go ahead and fix that. What we're going to do is make X, the B button, a toggle. It's gonna to toggle whether you're running or not. You're not going to need to hold it, but by pressing it, you will start running or stop running. And for that, we need to create a variable. Let's first start by creating um, an if statement. So just search if, and we're gonna check if the variable is true. So here we are, and we're going to check a variable. By default, it's just gonna pick some random variable for you here. Go ahead and create a new one. So I'm gonna just going to, um, don't use the dollar sign ones because we don't need to display this in text. The dollar sign ones, remember, are for displaying a va the variable in text. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go to variable 100 here, and I'm going to rename it to is walking. The reason I named it is walking is so that it can be a question that can be answered by true or false. Um, here it says if variable is true, so is walking. If is walking equals true, what we want to do is have the player run. So I'm going to drag the movement speed in here. Now if the player um, is not walking, that means the player is running. And in that case, we're gonna wanna set the movement speed back. For that, in the else, we're going to add an event, we're going to search move, and this is where we're going to set the actor speed back to what our default one is. For that, let's do speed one. So let's run through the logic here. When you press B, it's going to check a variable and the variable it's checking is, is walking. And if is walking is true, then we're going to make the player run. However, if is walking is false, we're going to make the player walk. But the thing is we never set is walking to false. So here we're going to need to search set and we're going to set variable to false. We're going to set 
is walking to false because once you're running, you're obviously no longer walking. And here, we need to set the variable to true because here you're walking. I hope that logic makes sense to you. Let's go ahead and see if it works. All right, so here we are. And our character is walking at a normal speed. I press X and the character is still walking at a normal speed. I'll show you why. But if you press it a second time, the character will start going at our run speed. However, if I press it again, now I'm walking. And here we go, it works. But I did have to press it um, twice at the very beginning. And that's because we didn't set the default value for is walking. So what we can do here is um, anywhere over here, um, it could be in your logo scene or on the title screen, but we need to set the value for is walking. By default, is walking is set to false. I'm just going to close these menus. I'm going to add an event and I'm going to set value to true. And we're going to, so we're setting is walking to true because the character starts the game off walking. I'm going to put that at the very beginning. All right, so I got my character walking and now I'm going to press X and my character's running. Pretty cool. We got, <laughs> we got character running working. Obviously you probably don't want to set the speed to four. <laughs> it's a little too fast, but, but there you go. You got character running. You can even have an item in the game like a bicycle. And then in here, when the character um, switches to running, what you can do is if you search Sprite, actor set player Sprite sheet, and in here you can change the character's Sprite sheet. So for example, so for example, I'm gonna pick the duck and I'll just show you what happens. So now what'll happen is when I run, I should transform into the duck. <laughs> but of course, instead of a duck, you would create a sprite sheet of your character on a bicycle. So if you do that, don't forget to turn your character back into themselves. Search sprite, set actor sprite sheet, and over here we're gonna change the player back. So there you have it. If you check out my itch page in the description, I have free pixel assets that you can use in your games. So for you to use them, uh, you don't even need to give me credit. And I will be updating the updating these, so um, make sure to follow me. In the top right corner here, there'll be a follow button. <laughs> All right. If you have a request, let me know in the comment section below. I'll see you next week. Dev life.